Hello, welcome to Davida's Stamp and Spot. It's Tuesday, and hopefully this is working. I'm getting a spinning wheel now. There we go. I decided, decided to use a um, sample that I've kept for many years and um, just think it's really fun. So here's what it looks like. And then when you pull on the tab, it does that. Isn't that fun? So I'll show you the card that I've saved for many years. And it's one with some old dies. And when you pull, it does that. So I want to show you how to do that tonight. Sorry, I'm a little distracted trying to figure out if we're working. Can you give me a comment if you can see this so I know that it's working tonight? It says I'm live, but I'm not sure. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm using tonight, then this is what's nice. It doesn't require a lot of supplies. These are the layering circle dies or I'm sorry, layering circles framelits. Boy, that tells you how long we've had these. Um, and I just pulled some of the circles so that I could have um, three varying sizes. So of course I have a large, a medium, and a small. I'm using the Merry Christmas from the Perfectly Plaid set. My colors are Cherry Cobbler and shaded spruce and because this is polymer I'm going to put the foam mat underneath and you could do a lot more with this but I just basically wanted to do some simple stamping so I can show you um, this fun project so I stamped Merry Christmas on this on my next two I could have just stamped some presents, but I decided I would save a little time and I stamped them. They're from the most wonderful stamp set and you can stamp three of them at a time, which is really nice. All right, so we're going to do this one. Oh, I hope you have checked out all the amazing stuff that's on sale right now. We have our year end closeout sale going on and today they refreshed the clearance rack and holy cow they had some good stuff on sale. I couldn't believe how quickly things were uh, going away. I know as I ordered I had stuff that by the time I got to check out it was already gone so you know they were great deals. All right so Two presents on that one and one on this one. And that's the stamping. Now I'm going to show you how to put all your pieces together. All right, sorry I keep, you know, I've had so much trouble with not seeing comments that I'm trying to figure out if I'm missing something or not. I just read somebody posted on Facebook that they keep messing up their Facebook lives and I thought, well, I'm starting to get the hang of it and then I'm having all kinds of issues tonight. All right, so I wanted to have an extra layer here, so I'm going to put some glue. Again, this is shaded spruce and cherry cobbler. And then I'm going to take my Merry Christmas and put that right in the middle. Toyed with doing some more like little pine cones or something on this, but decided you guys know how to stamp. I just want to show you how fun it is to put this together. All right, so the next thing is the two presents, and they're going to go on the me medium one. And 
And then the top one is just one present. All right, so there's our three pieces. And now I'm gonna show you how to assemble. So I had to go back and pull out some retired stuff. And if you know me, you know I hate to do that because I hate it when I have to tell you, I'm sorry I can't sell that to you because we don't sell it anymore. But we don't sell this small punch anymore and we don't, I didn't have any current brads. So um, the first thing I did was I stamped, or stamped, I punched a hole in the middle one. Okay, and then I lined it up on the bigger piece so I could figure out where to put my hole. And you want it down on the white part just a little ways. And then I just took a regular pen that I had laying here and drew a little circle so I knew where to punch my hole. So I'm going to punch a hole there. Now I'm going to take a brad and go through the two spots. Now these brads, like I said, they're old, but I'm using, you just want a small brad. You just need something that'll swivel. I should have dug these out before we started. Uh, fingers, fingers. Okay, so you're going to put it through the, the medium-sized hole or circle, then to the big one. Now, when I did this years ago, I, for some reason, cut off part of the circle back here. But I don't think we have to. Now, you don't want it terribly tight because you want it to be able to swivel, okay? So don't make it too terribly tight. Now we're going to do the same type of thing that we did before. We're going to punch the hole in the top circle. Then line it up on this one. It looks like I put my presence a little higher this time. So my circle's actually in the designer series paper. This designer series paper is from the, hey Kathy, hi, oh thank you, I know it's working, thank you for saying hi. Um, so the paper is from the curvy bundle that you can get this month that has the Christmas curvy and then the quite curvy, the designer series paper and the um, dies. All right, and then this designer series paper, and I think it has some ribbon too. All right, so there's your three circles, and see it swivels just like that. But then we wanna give them a little pull tab at the top. So we're going to go one, once more with the punch, punch in the middle. And I chose some of our um, metallic edged ribbon and we'll put the brad through the circle first. <laughs> and that just shot across the room. All right, so through the hole, lay it upside down, and you're gonna take the two pieces of ribbon, join them together, and then we're just going to feed them through the brad. Like that. Close it up, and there you go. Then you just bring it down like this. So when they open and pull the tab, it does that. <laughs> Isn't that fun? I, I have to admit that at 4.15 today, I still didn't know what I was gonna show you tonight. And I went through my bucket of old ideas that I've been hanging on to, and I went, oh, this will work. So I was so excited to get this one figured out. So I'll show you again, it does that. And here's the one that I've kept for many years. Some of you are gonna remember these 
colors. Oh my goodness, these were some of the first in colors, I think, way, way, way back when. Like that. So I kept looking at it today and I thought, you know, that looks like a snowman. So, oh, and I discovered that this circle fits inside our three by three um, envelope. So look at this. Now, don't make fun of my snowman. There's a reason I stamp and it's because I can't draw. So if I'd have known I was going to do this, I would have borrowed somebody's snowman set from last year that I could have used, but I didn't have it. So I just had to be creative. So here we go. So here's my snowman. Isn't that fun? And all I did was use some markers to draw my circles. I mean, and an oval. And I didn't want my nose straight because you know our carrots always are imperfect. And I did have to be careful with the arms on the snowman because as it spins, you don't want them to catch. So again, I did realize that I probably could have used the snowflake ribbon. I was thinking black because of the black hat, but that snowflake ribbon that we have um, in the year-end clearance would be really cute too. And then these go right into the three by three envelope. So you can take it, slide it in. Oh wait, I think it's this. Oh yeah, they're both the same size. So it'll go right in there, fold it up. Isn't that a fun little gift you could give somebody? So of course I'd have to stamp a little something here. I would probably maybe put a little present on there like that and do that. So that's my fun little technique or project for tonight. It was so fun to pull out a project from the past that I've been hanging on to and use it because so often they just sit in my bucket. Well, let's see. Nope, I think I'll just go with one. Um, now, let me tell you about the special. Stampin' Up! has a clearance special going where some stuff's up to 60% off. They've got the year in clearance going where things are up to 50% off. And all of that is good while supplies last. So you're not going to want to think about it. If you know you want something, you best get it quick. <laughs> if you're not spending 150, if you'd use this host code, I'd sure appreciate it. Um, it helps me with my supplies for classes and my demonstrations and stuff. And if you place a $50 order or more, let me show you some of the goodies I'm giving away because I ordered too much. So I have some of the adhesive snowflake, some of this, oh, that's the wrong package. Well, I'll throw it in because it's here. This is ornate garden ribbon. Um, I think that's maybe from, I'm not sure when that one is. We'll put that one on the back burner. I better check on that one. This is the Tis the Season 6x6 six six paper. I bought that thinking I was going to try and do a product class with it and just ran out of time here before Christmas. I've got some of the metallic, let's see, what's it called? Metallic mesh ribbon. This is the embroidery ribbon. If you can see that. This is some of that fun felt that um, is in green, red, black, white. You could do a lot with that. That'd make awesome snow. And then I think I have a couple duplicates of this stuff. But if you place a $50 order and you're one of the first ones to do it, you'll get one of these goodies as a gift from me. And I'll let you pick which one you get. So um, again, here's the host code. Needs to be a $50 order to get one of these goodies. And thank you for joining me tonight. Kathy, thanks for saying hi. Dana, thank you for stopping by. So here we go. Here it is one more time. Oh, 